Well, we've made the journey up here to Blue Diamond uh, in the northeast. This company is uh, fantastic with different array of machines. But when you look at some of the castings they're doing, Paul, why are they opted for the courier? Well, they, they do such big work here. Walking around, some of the work that they've got going uh, through progress here is immense. And, and some of the tolerances they're trying to achieve on some of the castings like you've seen are pretty incredible. I mean, one I was looking at, they, were tr they needed to achieve a thou over uh, a couple of hundred millimetres from, a, from a, a, a face to a to a hole, which is, is, is quite tight for castings like that. And they needed a machine of, of this ilk to be able to achieve that on the larger work. And why, why do they think this machine is much better than anything they've had in the workshop before? Well, it's delivering better results when it comes to accuracy. So some of the castings we're talking about here, they're able to machine them faster, but they're able to uh, achieve those tighter tolerances as well. Um, that comes down to really the build of the machine. Uh, the Courier have got such a reputation for, for producing um, incredibly reliable, but but yeah, if you're chasing tight tolerances, these machines deliver. Because it's not just the machine, their, their head technology is, is second to none, isn't it? Well, this is it. I mean, it, it, you know, we're looking now at the capacity of this machine. It's very big, you, you know, over two metres in the X axis, over a metre in the Y. You can, start to, you can start to understand and see the size of the work that you can put on here. But when you look at this head, the most important thing about this head is, is its positional accuracy. Um, and, the, and one of the difficulties and the challenges machine tool manufacturers face is when they're, when they're using this RAM style construction is they suffer or some suffer from like this droop element. But you know, as a result of the, the build of this machine, it doesn't happen here on the Coria. And when you're positioning this head, you can get to millions of positions. Um, as a result of its sort of L-shaped guideway system, it means you've got more support around the RAM which means that when you're moving from position to position, if you go from, say, uh, position A to position B, then back to position A, you will get exactly the same position, so you won't recut the part. And this is a massive part of the Courier's uh, ability to achieve such great results. And one thing I've noticed, uh, the axis back and front, I mean, that, that's quite, that's traditionally not the way that these machines are built, are they? No, look at it. I mean, you know, if, you, if you're craning components in, which they do, I know, I know we've got you know, quite a light duty part on here, but some of the other things we've seen going through this machine today, you need a crane, you need the access, and it's not just the access at the front here with this single door. When you look at the back, I really, really, uh, when I got here, I, I, the back door was open and I was in there and I was just thinking, this is so accessible and it's so good for an operator to be able to get in to the front and to the back of the machine to be able to either measure parts or, or clamp components or do things that you might need to do in the machine process. And Paul, is this like a, a traditional sale within a job shop like Blue Diamond when they've got these awkward components and obviously castings? Yeah, it is. And I mean, you know, th this machine is a fast machine as well. It's got 25 meters a minute on the rapids. And, it, and, it, and you know, you might think, well, okay, the, the, the bigger the parts, do you need to machine them as quickly? But if you're moving from one end of the table to the other, the faster the rapids, the better as well. And it's not just quick, it's very economical. When you've got a machine of this size, you look at things like power consumption. How much is it going to cost me to run? All right, we spoke about the rigidity, so, so tool wear is going to be less. You'll get, you know, you know, you're going to spend less on, on consumables, but also the fact that this has like auto function on and off. So when the machine isn't in action, you're also saving power as well. And it can reduce the, the cost of running it by up to 20%. So they've taken all of this into consideration as well. It's not just the, the access, the, the accuracy, but also the economics of running a machine too. And when you look at the range as well, can you have different heads uh, on, on these type of machines? You can, and I think the big thing about their investment here, I mean, this has got a tool changer on it as well, but they had a machine before where they were having to move the head manually. So you can imagine the amount of time it would be taking them to, to it, or when you look at the castings, different faces, different angles, they'd get in, move, and you, 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 can, you can make so many errors that way as well, but you can, you can have different heads with a Courier machine all part of, uh, I suppose, the benefit of buying one of these uh, from DTS here in the UK.